Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Kai and in today's video, we're going to be looking at adding subtitles in Premiere Pro 2023. So don't forget to like this video, add it to a playlist or bookmark it for later so that you can find it when you want to add subtitles to your videos. So with that out of the way, let's jump into Premiere Pro 2023. So here we are in Premiere Pro and the first thing that I want to do is import the footage that I want to use. I recently created a promo for Motion Array, so I'm going to right click on that. I'm gonna to go to new sequence from clip and here is my clip. And to give you an idea of some of the dialogue that's in this clip, let's have a listen to it. You wanna add some life into your videos? Uh huh. Then you need to check out Motion Array. Wow. So we want to add subtitles to this video and we can do that by coming over to our window here and workspace and we can choose captions and graphics. So this brings up the caption area. We want to go to where it says transcripts and this will go through the sequence and do its best to work out what the subtitles are. So let's click on transcribe sequence. So here it comes up with a number of options. So create transcript, motion array promo, Kai Creative. We can choose our language. We have a number of different languages that we can download here. And also because we're in the UK, we're gonna choose English UK. And then it gives us some options. So speaker labeling, separate the speakers. So speaker one and speaker two. No, don't separate the speakers. So in this instance, we do have two speakers. So let's do speaker one and speaker two. And also audio track on mix or audio one. We're gonna have it on mix. And then we're gonna go to transcribe. And let's give it a minute to just transcribe the video. And it took less than 30 seconds to produce the actual transcript. So now we want to create the actual captions or subtitles. So if you come up to where it says CC here, you can click on create captions. It gives us a couple of options and we are going to select subtitle default. And there's a drop down menu here called preferences that we can change some of the preferences. So we can change the style the maximum length in characters, the minimum duration in seconds, the gap between captions, so the frames that we want between those captions, and whether we want those lines as single or double. Now, I want mine as single lines. A lot of shorts and reels use single lines, so let's use single lines, and let's create those captions. Within a few seconds, here we are. We can see our captions underneath here. One of the things that you will want to be able to do is edit these. You can see they're editable on the side to the left. And the reason why is because it's not always 100% accurate. So this should say you need to check out motion array. It says you need to check out machinery. So we want to change this to motion array. We can do it up here. We can click on the box on the left and we can change that to motion array. And that will modify in our subtitle here. We can also click on the box, double click on it and change it from there. So this subtitle seems to be quite low down in the screen. For social media, particularly if we want to turn this into a vertical video, we want this more centralized, perhaps towards the, the middle here. So let's select all of the captions. And over here on the right, we'll see the essential graphics shows us that we can actually change the text font. So I'm going to change this to objective. And then I'm going to change this to about 65. We can change the zone in the align and transform section. So we can put it in the middle, we can have it at the top, we can have it over to the right, top left, you get the idea. Now this is probably too central. So what we can do is come over to these coordinates here, the X and Y coordinates, and I can just drag this down to the right and this will pull my subtitles down. So maybe, maybe about there. Other things that I can do is change the fill color. So for example, if I wanted all of my font to be a nice yellow pop on the screen. I can have it like that. I can change individual words. Now you see this a lot on social media where people will select an individual word and change the color. So I can select on that individual word, double click and then highlight it and then change that back to whatever color that I want. So change it back to white. And then you will have the two tone. Again, I'll select all of the subtitles and I will increase the shadow. So I like this to be a bit more defined. So maybe take this up to 20, 25, we can change this to. We can change the positioning of our subtitle text. So maybe we don't want it to appear too quickly on the screen. We can drag these sidebars out to make them appear and end when we want them to. And we can now render this video. So let's see how well it's done. Do you want to add some life into your videos? Uh-huh. Then you need to check out Motion Array. Wow. 
Motion Array is a marketplace with a huge library of video templates, stock footage, motion graphics, as well as music and sound effects. One more thing I want to show you if you come over to the top left is if you click on these three dots, you can go to export and you can export your subtitles as a text file, as a CSV file or an SRT file. So if you export that as an SRT, let's just save it here. Motion Array Promo you can open that up now in WordPad and you can see the SRT is here for you to use if you wanted to upload these subtitles somewhere else with the timestamps as well. So there you have it, subtitling in Premiere Pro in 2023. It's not perfect, but it can really help speed up your workflow, particularly for your social media pieces. So I hope you found today's video useful. If you did, don't forget to give us a like. Now go and check out this playlist here for other useful Premiere Pro tips and tricks. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell for notifications. In the meantime, stay creative, stay safe, imagine implement and inspire and I'll catch you next time on Kai Creative.